Welcome to episode number 42 of the group Iron Man series. I ended my last video by farming some Solra for scales and I'm doing that right now again. But in my last video I was using the Trident of the Swamp which does actually consume scales and my Serpentine Helmet. So I was using two sources of scale draining activities meanwhile doing the boss that I wanted scales from. So I actually decided to just uh, camp the bow for Adina. It's good enough. I get like uh, maybe 10 second, 15 second slower kill but I only use like half the scales if even that I use uh, way less scales than if I would use the trident of the swamp so this is going to give more scales for the team Oh my god, there it is. A magic fang. That is a very nice drop. We all have tridents, but we do not have magic fangs enough for everyone. I think that is the third one for the team. Finally, I actually wanted to do 100 kill counts. I'm at 96 now, and I finally got the drop. And that is, as you can see right here, 100 solar kills done, and it's a 113k average on a main account per kill, which is still pretty good. It's not as good as Vorkath, I believe, but uh, still very nice. And we did get that magic fang just in the end there, which is super nice. But as long as you still need more of them, I cannot destroy them for Solra scales. I'm not sure how many it is, but I think it's quite a lot if you get one, like 20,000 scales or something like that. So in the future, when we do manage to get five of them, any excess ones, I will just destroy for scales. I have a massive confession. This is going to be rough to let you guys know, and also mostly my team. I have a quest that uh, basically everyone expects me to have completed at this point that I do not have done. That is this, Throne of Miscellanea. Yeah, basically everyone in my team has of course been doing this because they are Iron Man. This is like one of the best quests in the game for Iron Man and I have not done it. I've just been forgetting about it all the time. And it is time to do it because my team wants to work on total levels. We are currently rank 9 as a 5-man team. And uh, we just want to get total levels up and I think this is a quest I need to do and get my kingdom rolling to get herbs and uh, like teak logs and all that kind of good stuff for construction and herb lore. So let's get it done. Can we just for a second here actually give some props to uh, Princess Astrid for being the only person in the world who seems to be ahead of her time understanding that this dance is the most impressive dance in the world like at clubs, you should be seeing everyone doing this. The most accurate representation of how it feels when I ask people if they've seen my videos on YouTube. What do you think about them? Wait, who are you again? But anyways, here we go. This is the completion of the quest, and we now have management of miscellanea, but I want to complete the royal trouble quest as well, because that makes you get more of the material from doing this. Let's do that as well. Very quick and easy quest, Royal Trouble completed, actually pretty good experience as well, 5k Slayer, 5k Agility and 5k Hit Points and as you see increased miscellanea resources. So it's now time to deposit some money. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put full on herbs and I'm going to take the rest in the teak in case I want to make uh, teak planks to get construction up, I might change this later on, but uh, I'm going to put in 3 million GP. So let's do that. I have 10 million in the bank, so I'm all good, and that should be fine now for a very long time. So my team right now is working hard on total levels because we want to get up the ranks, and I only have 76 cooking, and it's a very fast skill. I'm going to burn some of these, which is going to be experience loss, of course, but I was gifted 4,000 raw carambon. So hopefully I can get to 80 with this. I'm not quite sure from 7 to 6, but uh, we should have more if I can't reach it. Otherwise, I'm sure I have some other raw food as well, like 800 almost raw swordfish. So let's get 80 cooking. Well, there we go. That was uh, surprisingly AFK and fast, so I kind of almost missed it. But that is 80 cooking and is going to be broadcasted in the clan, I would assume. There it is. And I am really close to 1850 total, so I'm going to find some skill I can train a bit and get that done. An easy level I could get was Prayer because I got to like 130 Dragon Bones from Solra, so this is 78 Prayer right there. And now I have one more level to go. Naturally, I was only like 35,000 experience off a smithing level, so I decided to do that. And uh, this is now going to be 1850 total, which is going to be broadcasted in the clan. 82 smithing as well. And there we go, a beautiful level to hit. I've actually been so bad at keeping up with tiers of gothics, but now I have even more quest points. I managed to get 167 tiers, and that is 10,000 runecrafting experience, pretty much half a level. 
Uh, but I'm not going to train actively on runecrafting now, even though it is my lower skill by quite a lot, because in roughly two weeks, they are going to be releasing the new runecrafting minigame, which is going to be pretty good experience, and it should be more AFK than any other method right now, which is going to be the way I'm going to be training runecrafting, probably at least all the way to 77. So now after getting that, it was either between getting some eclectic implings and hunting some medium clue scrolls again, thinking like 500 eclectic implings like in my last video, or killing the chaos fanatic, but um, I was having a look at the bank and uh, there's like no prayer pots, and I don't really feel like doing last man standing right now for blighted restores, which would be the best uh, way of doing it. So I'm going to go with medium clue scrolls, I'm probably going to skip the chaos fanatic for this video, but uh, maybe when we get some more prayer potions, I will uh, go on to that again. In my last video, I got a comment about how did I get so many impling jars. Well, basically, you want to go to this guy in the beginning, get a couple of them for free, and then you catch implings with those free that you got, and you trade him, and you can see right here, any of the unnoted impling types, you can swap for three impling jars. And when you do get all the full inventory of impling jars, you actually click the exchange button, and you can put them in right here, up to a thousand. And when you actually withdraw them, you can do it as banknotes. So you can just stay here, take like a nine impling jars or something, uh, collect nine implings, trading them for other jars, and then put them in and keep doing that all the time until you have like 500, 1000, and then take them out as notes. And there we go, that's 510 eclectic implings. Let's see how many medium clues we can get from this. So meanwhile, I was doing my medium clue scrolls. My team asked if I wanted to do some bandos and one chambers of Seric afterwards. And of course I said yes. And this is what happened. Just hold it for an awkward moment. Yeah, when well, we used to PK. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh yes! yes. Finally! Oh, yes. Yes. oh my there god, it finally! Dude, Look as at you that. turn on this thing too. Wait, I gotta oh, drop bro, it on the ground finally. as well. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, that is beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna equip it. Look at this. Oh, put it on. Yeah, bro, look at them legs. <laughs> this doesn't fit at all with my gear. Look at this gear now with my helmet. Oh, God. What hey, hey bro, you might as well pass it over for the tank. <laughs> yeah, sure. After this. No. Oh, oh, we yes. finished them. Yes. Hey, that's now five hey. boots, right? It's the fifth pair, yeah. We all get a pair each pod for our clues. <laughs> It is literally my first collection log from Bandos, not counting the gods or shards. So, so wait, can't... we've done that thing. Yeah, with yeah, Bandos yeah, boots, that's... yeah. My so yeah, good luck in chat. Oh! Uh, uh, wait, what is it? Oh. Let's go! Wait, does wait, it actually that? get a purple? I got a torn prayer scroll. No, same. Oh, oh yeah. that's nothing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, why, that's why I was, I was like, like oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, what is it? That's not what I want, is it? It's a that's preserve. The, uh... Preserve prayer. Yeah. Oh, I mean that's still cool. Like I've got it done. Like I don't mind. I'm gonna read yeah, that. It's not. It's something. But after that, I did actually get kind of unlucky this time. I only got 15 caskets. I should have got 25. But uh, let's see what we can get. One is enough to get ranger boots. So let's start opening. First one, nothing. I guess I can have the chat open. The first unique ancient cloak. Not that bad. Some pretty bad stuff. If I get like nothing, I'm just going to keep going all the time. A uh, crier coat. That might be a fancy uh, cosmetic. Yeah, look at that. Not too bad. And I will bank in a sec. And there we go. Let's open the last eight ones. And we're going to go over 50 medium clue scrolls after this. So let's see if we can get lucky on chest number 50. And that is Armadil Miter, another unique on 49. And chest number 50 is going to be very disappointing. Four more to go and nothing great so far. Got a couple of collection log items. And the last casket is going to be Ranger Boots this time. It is not. It is an Adamant Plate Body G, which is another unique. And every time I do look at the collection log, so let's do that real quick. I guess it is on clues, medium, and we now have 17 out of 115. I had to do some AFK fishing, and look at this. I noticed the fishing rod looks different. It used to be just a normal fishing rod, but as you can see in my inventory, this one does look different, but uh, they recently changed this. Look at this on the screen right now. It actually just now was changed, so it looks like the actual barbarian fishing rod, so that's pretty cool. 
a lot of AFK later, 300,000 fishing experience and also the goal I wanted to reach, 80 fishing, which is now 1852 total. And that is Infernal Eels, that's kind of interesting, I might AFK that in the future, but the ultimate goal I want to get to is 89 for Sacred Eels, so I can AFK just fish Solra scales basically. So randomly we're now in the leagues and that is because I wanted to show you guys something I've been doing for the past I think two days just casually. I have been working on getting 1500 league points on my group Iron Man because of course my league series was on my main account. I got like 12,000 points or something but the whip override cosmetic that is really cool I will have now in four days because it costs 1500 and I really wanted to make sure I got that. So in four days, or in the next video after this one, you will see me having the whip cosmetic. But now that I'm 80 fishing, I have never actually tried Infernal Eels, so I do want to try that. And for it, you need to actually have entered the uh, Fire Cape area, which uh, luckily I have. And also, you need fishing baits, a hammer, and an oily fishing rod. And you start fishing here, and then uh, when you do get one of these eels, which uh, I have no idea how good experience this is, it's 98 per catch and you use the hammer on the eel and you get some tockle and sometimes you can get onyx ball tips as well. So I'm going to be here for a bit. I'm going to see the XP rates and like what loot I get and see how it is. All right, so I've done a bit more than an hour. You can see 262 caught and I'm getting 240 an hour. So let's look at the experience rate. It is 23.4k uh, an hour and I did kind of semi AFK it. So maybe I could have peaked at like 25, 26k. And uh, the loot was 15 onyx ball tips, which is like 140k cash, which is not that bad. Almost 4k tockle and 37 lava scale shards. And these are actually used to make the extended super anti-fires in the future, which is like 98 herb lore requirements. And the extended anti-fires, which is 84, I do believe. So it is pretty good. I mean, I might do this as an AFK activity now and then. And now, as I said earlier in the video, the reason why I didn't want to do Chaos Fanatic yet was because we didn't really have any prey potions, but I think Max Nick put a bunch of them in. We have 338. I'm going to take out like maybe 80 of them. That should be enough. And I, of course, have to note them. But uh, I'm going to take like 80 of them, do some Chaos Fanatic, and let's see if we can actually get the Odium today. And I'm going to, in this video, get top 1000 kill count on the boss in the world. So that's going to be pretty nice as well. Now, as you can see in the chat, I have 1050 kill count on the Chaos Fanatic. And if we go over to the high scores here, if I refresh this and we go down to the KC, I am now rank 996 for the boss. Top 1000 has been achieved and I'm going to go to 1250 in this video. Maybe more, but we'll see. And I'm going to be very interested in seeing what rank that is. Oh my god, that is not what you want to see. That is the fourth malediction shard, I believe, on this boss. And still no odium on kill 1162. But yeah, we'll keep going. Another 250 kills done for kill count 1250 is going to be done after this one. Still no odium shard, which is just ridiculous. But I'm actually going to go for more in this video because I'm kind of in the groove right now and I just want to keep doing this boss. I really want to try to get that Odium shot in this video and I'm so overdue for it. So I'm going to go for another 250 kills and that 1500 and if I do end up getting an Odium shot earlier than that, I'm still going to finish 1500 KC. I went to bed after the last clip and now I have a morning voice, but that is ancient stuff. It is uh, eight of them now on the counter. I haven't tracked all the kills, unfortunately, but uh, that's the same drop rate as getting one of the shards. One in 128 and the two shards are one in 256. 1300 kill count achieved. I think in this video I want to go all the way to 1500 kill count. And in case you're wondering how rare it is to go this many kills without getting an Odium shard, I can show you guys. The RuneScape wiki has a dry calculator. And if you type in 1 in 256, which is the drop rate of the shard, 1300 kill count. And how many drops I've got, which is of course zero. The chance of me having a Odium Shard at this point is 99.38%. And the chance of me not having it is 0.6% chance. So that is less than a 1% chance for this to happen. And of course, right after that, another Ancient Staff. Another missed roll of the Shard table. 
yeah, this is uh, demoralizing, but it is what it is. Actually, it's kind of just funny at this point, I don't mind. And there it is, 1400 kill counts, 100 more to go for this video. I can't believe I still haven't got it, honestly. Like, at this point, when I get 1500 kill counts, I'm basically six times the drop rate, which is just crazy. I don't think I've ever been this unlucky on a boss. Oh my god, the Odium Shard does exist, 14, 19 kill count, so that is almost 6 times the drop rate. I do believe the 6 time drop rate would be like 1520, somewhere around there, but uh, yeah, that is uh, ridiculous. Finally have one, and I still need two more, because we still need <laughs> 3 Odium Shields overall, but yeah, finally have one of them. But there it is, 1500 kill count done, and we actually do have one Odium now, which is very nice, but I still need two more of them. And I'm not going to stop, I mean, I'm done now for the video, but I'm actually going to relog and see what my rank is for the boss right now. But uh, yeah, I'm going for all the three Odiums. So in this video we managed to break the top 1000 kill count on the Chaos Fanatic, and from that we got all the way to rank 388. That's pretty ridiculous, and I can only imagine if I get unlucky again, what rank I'm going to be when I'm done with all the three Odiums. Maybe someone in my team will help me, I'm not sure, but it is the most effective for me to do it with the Bofer, Ardeen and Crystal Armor, it is pretty fast. So yeah, maybe I'll be like top 100 in the end. Now of course there's only one thing left to do for this video, use all the Odium Shards that we have to put into the Volcanic Forge and make the Odium Ward the first out of three for the team that we'll need. And look at that, 4 range strength for a range shield and 12 ranged offense is really nice. And it looks really good as well, so first out of 3. But for now this is it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe for the future uploads. And until next time guys, take care.